Linear functions. Linear functions have the form f of x equals mx plus b. Here, m represents the slope and b the point where the line crosses the y-axis. If m is positive, the function increases. If it is negative, it decreases. When m is zero, the function is constant. Its graph is always a straight line. They are ideal for modeling relationships with constant change, such as proportional income or uniform speed. If b is zero, the line passes through the origin. These functions are the foundation for understanding the general behavior of more complex functions. Quadratic functions. Quadratic functions have the form f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Their graph is a parabola. If a is positive, it opens upward. If negative, downward. The highest or lowest point is the vertex. These functions appear in situations with constant acceleration, such as parabolic trajectories in physics. They are also used in economics to analyze maximum or minimum costs and revenues. Their symmetrical shape makes graphical analysis easier, and their behavior changes completely depending on the values of A, B, and C. Polynomials of degree n. Polynomials of degree n have the form f of x equals a sub n times x to the n, plus a sub n minus 1 times x to the n minus 1, and so on, down to a sub 1 times x plus a sub 0, where n is a positive integer. The behavior of the function depends on the degree and the leading coefficient. Higher degree polynomials can have multiple maxima, minima, and inflection points. They are continuous and smooth functions, ideal for modeling complex phenomena. They are used in numerical analysis, interpolations, and approximations such as the Taylor series. Graphical analysis and differentiation help to understand their growth, concavity, and behavior as x approaches extreme values. Rational functions. Rational functions are defined as the quotient of two polynomials, f of x equals p of x over q of x, where q of x does not equal zero. They can present vertical asymptotes where q of x is zero, and horizontal or oblique asymptotes depending on the relative degree of p of x and q of x. These functions are essential for analyzing discontinuities, limits, and extreme behaviors. Their graphs can have multiple branches, jumps, and regions of abrupt growth. They are used in physics to represent inversely proportional relationships, such as the law of gravitation or signal intensity. They are also useful in economics and biology to model saturation or constraint situations. Radical functions. Radical functions involve roots of a variable, such as f of x equals square root x or f of x equals n root x. The square root is the most common, but there are also cube roots, fourth roots, and others. If the index is even, the domain is restricted to values that do not produce negative radicands. Its graph starts at a defined point and grows slowly, with a smooth curvature to the right. These functions appear in geometry, such as the relationship between area and side length, and in physics, such as velocity in freefall. Exponential functions. Exponential functions have the form f of x equals a to the power of x, where the base a is a positive number different from 1. If a is greater than 1, the function grows rapidly. If a is between 0 and 1, it decreases. Its graph approaches the x-axis but never touches it, forming a horizontal asymptote. They are essential in models of population growth, compound interest, radioactive decay, and many natural processes. They also appear in algorithms and cryptography. Their most notable characteristic is that small changes in x can generate enormous variations in f of x, making them powerful tools for describing accelerated growth. Logarithmic functions. Logarithmic functions are the inverses of exponential functions. They have the form f of x equals log a of x, where a is greater than zero and a does not equal one. The natural logarithm f of x equals natural log of the absolute value of x with base e is also common. These functions are only defined for x greater than zero. Their graph has a vertical asymptote at x equals zero and grows slowly to the right. They are useful in acoustics, the Richter scale, chemistry, pH, 
and in algorithms. They model decelerating growth processes and appear in data analysis and signal compression. Trigonometric functions. The basic trigonometric functions are sine, cosine, and tangent, defined from right triangles or the unit circle. They are periodic functions, meaning their values repeat at regular intervals. Sine and cosine oscillate between negative 1 and 1. Tangent has vertical asymptotes. These functions are fundamental in describing cyclic phenomena such as sound waves, light, vibrations, and alternating current. They are also used in geometry, navigation, astronomy, and signal analysis. Their wave-like and predictable behavior allows for highly accurate mathematical modeling of any repetitive phenomenon. Inverse trigonometric functions. Inverse trigonometric functions allow the calculation of angles from the value of a trigonometric ratio. The main ones are arc sine, arc cosine, and arc tangent, which are the inverses of sine, cosine, and tangent, respectively. They are essential for solving triangles when the sides are known and the angles need to be found. They also appear in physics, engineering, and 3D graphics, especially in the analysis of oscillations and rotations. For these functions to be properly defined, their domains and ranges are restricted. Their graphs are smooth, continuous, and non-periodic. These functions connect numerical values with angles, making it possible to model angular situations across multiple disciplines. Hyperbolic functions. Hyperbolic functions such as sinh of x, cosh of x, and tanh of x are analogous to trigonometric functions but are based on exponential expressions. For example, sinh of x equals e to the power of x minus e to the power of negative x over 2. They are related to hyperbolas instead of circles. They are not periodic, but they have useful symmetries and smooth, continuous graphs. They are fundamental in differential equations, the theory of relativity, and modeling physical structures like hanging cables or catenaries. They are also used in heat transfer and fluid processes. They have identities similar to trigonometric ones, allowing for algebraic manipulation in advanced mathematical and physical analysis. Absolute value function. The absolute value function is represented as f of x equals the absolute value of x. It is defined piecewise. If x is greater than or equal to 0, then f of x is equal to x. If x is less than 0, then f of x is equal to negative x. This structure creates a v-shaped graph, with its vertex at the origin. The function measures the distance from 0, so it always yields non-negative results. It is very useful in contexts where magnitude matters, but not direction, such as absolute errors, distances, or deviations. It is also frequently used in optimization, data analysis, and programming, where the sign of the original number needs to be disregarded. Constant function. A constant function has the form f of x equals k, where k is a fixed real number. No matter what value x takes, the result will always be the same. Its graph is a horizontal line crossing the y-axis at the value k. It represents situations without change, such as constant temperature or zero velocity. Although they may seem simple, these functions are key in mathematical analysis. They help in understanding limits, derivatives, and integrals. They are also helpful as references in comparative studies. Their stability makes them ideal tools for representing balanced or unchanging states within a dynamic system. Integer part functions, floor and ceiling. The most well-known integer functions are the floor and ceiling functions. f of x equals floor of x gives the greatest integer less than or equal to x. The ceiling function f of x equals ceiling of x gives the smallest integer greater than or equal to x. These are step functions, and are discontinuous. They display jumps at each integer. They are used in programming, logic, discrete mathematics, and number theory. They are also useful for rounding, grouping, or calculating integer limits. Though simple, they have a significant impact on algorithms and computational structures due to their discrete and deterministic nature. Sine function. The sine function, sine of x, indicates whether a number is positive, negative, or zero. 
It is defined as negative 1 if x is less than 0, 0 if x equals 0, and 1 if x is greater than 0. Its graph has three levels. It is useful for representing direction, polarity, or for constructing piecewise defined functions. Piecewise functions. Piecewise functions are defined using different expressions depending on the interval of the domain in which x falls. This means that the value of the function changes abruptly depending on the input range. For example, f of x equals negative x plus 2 if x is less than or equal to negative 2, x squared minus 1 if 0 is less than or equal to x is less than 3, negative 1 if x is greater than 5. These functions allow for modeling real-world phenomena that do not follow a single mathematical rule, such as electricity rates that change based on consumption, salaries with tiered bonuses, or physical systems that react differently depending on initial conditions. Analyzing this type of function requires examining each piece individually, evaluating continuity, differentiability, and breakpoints. Although simple in definition, they can have very sophisticated applications in engineering, economics, and data science.